Hey guys, welcome back to a CB video. Just going to show you guys two must have units. This is a live recording, and uh, Improver is actually voicing over the stuff that I am um, doing actually in the game, so it's sort of a sort of live commentary as such and that. But um, yeah, two must have units Star Wars and Shenji's, and I'm going to show you guys in this one exactly why that is. So here you go. Oh. What does two? What does two do? Two is in advance. You can test it once you get once you get him to the bottom of the stairs. Just like stand there and test it. I would say. I wouldn't push that way, but yeah, you can just test it like right here. Is a good spot to just test it. Just aim it down that gate, the whatever the walkway. Oh my god! Yeah. How far does that thing go? I don't know. I've never really tested. It's mostly just used for like forming your unit up into a really good like formation. Just hit it, and you'll kind of see what the formation they do. And then the trick is, whenever you like hit that, you're just gonna want to brace them straight away because usually you're gonna be right up on top of units. Just brace them, and then see they got a nice shield run like formation. Oh, that's insane. That's why the like cooldown dock wasn't a half bad idea because it would give you a pretty nice formation. Oh, that's a. All right, yeah, no, I'd keep moving. And I, I can't really tell. If you don't think you can, then I wouldn't. But watch out, berserkers! Brace, 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 brace. Yep. Oh, yeah, okay. they're f they're f unless they got like winged czars that can flank you. They're f yep. Keep moving them. Just keep xing them forward and then bracing. Oh, push them like right there, like into the units if you can. You're gonna want to keep them braced as much as you can. Because that's where they have the highest block. Is that friendly or enemy? No, that's enemy, isn't it? Look at those numbers racking up. Oh, <laughs> hell. Now, do you see where they're so good? Yeah, man. And then the second anything pushes you, just hit brace. It's a three second cooldown to brace. Just push them, hit X to push them into the unit, and then brace. And you're up to 80 kills. Watch out, that's a lot of ranged fire. How many units have you lost? What, five? Yeah. I mean, still, and then look at your kills. Oh man, we're f***ing them up. Yeah. They're probably gonna go... Um, four, whatever you call it. I wouldn't push that way. Your team's probably gonna come from the other way. Go, go back to towards that supply point. They're probably gonna go that way. It's not usually the best way to push, but it's definitely not the best way to push. It's the hardest way to push, but just because new new players tend to push that way, and your team's probably gonna push that way. Be careful from the ranged fire, but you can take those units if you push. And you got some team support. Yeah, you can take those units. Ooh, I did not see, see this Shenji's there. My bad. I'd send your units back to heal. Ooh, here, here just brace them, brace them, brace them. What, I, what you can do there... 
is just brace him. Oh, just They're going to deal so much damage so fast that, that hero is going to be dead. Yeah, yeah. Right, let them heal up. Man, the fucking world good. Oh, the, the, like, that is a combo. And then, like, as a save, like, oh, my God. God. That's... Yeah, and then there's also a Spear Doctrine, which sadly I don't have yet, or else I would put it on my Star Wars, that gives them a passive skill called Regeneration, which is basically in Imperial Spear Guard's heal. So imagine Imperial Spear Guard's heal on those guys. I wouldn't push there. They have an invulnerability zone. But yeah, no, imagine just putting Imperial Spear Guard's heal on there, on those units. No, no, no! Don't do that! Don't do that! Don't do that! Because they're they're all stacking up around the corner. Just brace, brace. Get a unit pushing into you. I'd pull back if you can. Yeah, no, your units, your units fucked. Oh, you got a hero kill? Almost to 100 kills. This is where Shenjis are good. If you still have your Shenjis, I'd bring them out. Ooh, you know what I'd do? I'd do. So... Treb that ballista. See if you can treb that ballista. Oh, I haven't got my ain't got anymore. Oh, you don't? Okay. Fuck. Cause yeah, you could bring out Shenji's. Cause then you can just bomb that little gap gap back there. Oh, I yeah, pull your unit out and grab Shenji's. Look at your team has a ton of shields. Sorry, what were you saying? They're, but they're obviously got that. Oh no, they're not doing that around the corner anymore now. No, you never really want to defend there. It's not a good spot to defend. Oh, so what you're going to want to do is set them... I'll let you know when to stop Xing them. Um, right... A little bit forward, like where those archers were. Right there, right there. And then just bomb. Don't throw all the way back. But they're not like Zykalian in the sense that. Yeah. But you're going to get some nice kills. Uh, so I don't know if you hit V there. But for like 10 seconds after you don't want to do that. Because remember you get they, they get they get that buff. Okay, so what you're gonna want to do is peek around that corner and see if you can hit the like grenade throw back there. Let's see, you can see it arcs. So then, watch. Just wait for the numbers to pop up. It's gonna be so satisfying. That was insane. That was insane. Yeah, you didn't even get like a ton of kills, but you're still like just dealt a ton of damage. That's why, that's where, like, Shenjis are such a, like, I think you need more ammo on them. For the grenades, at least. I just watch it out. Does anyone on their team have Cav? Oh, don't, 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 don't. Hit tab, and you can check to see if anyone on their team has Cav. Just Cav is what you gotta watch out for. No. Okay. Or even like a flanking type unit. But yeah, I don't, I don't know if you're gonna pull this off, but still. And then just don't, don't hit any of their extra V keys. Well, oh, I'm booming out. Get the shot. There's. There's uh, shielded units. Oh, 
Just watch out for the ranged fire. It's the best way to tell them where to shoot is to like use their one key. Which is like a focus fire. You're going to want to move them a bit closer. Yeah, there's on Reapers there. Yeah. But look at the numbers. You're still getting around 2,000 on them. And then don't hit anything. Just let them shoot. And they're going to get crazy numbers and shoot super, super, super fast. Genji's are really just a really good unit. Oh, this is where you want to use, like, your one focus fire just to direct them where to shoot. So there you go, guys. Shenji's and Star Wars. Now, I hope you liked the live commentary. If you did, feel free to give it a like. I'll also link Improva's account in the description below, so if you want to check out his channel, uh, that'd be great. He usually posts sort of every now and then, putting up loads of different sort of new styles of play and uh, sort of what's coming out and what he prefers, really. So feel free to, to give him a like and uh, a follow as well. And on that, good day.